welcome to this week's studio vlog. So uh, I'm just putting the finishing touches to my studio. As you can see, uh, I've just been setting up my pegboard. We did this last night um, and we put it on the fireplace. It was kind of difficult to hang up, but it's done. Um, and I think it's gonna look really great when I've got all my stuff on. I'm not sure how often I'm gonna change things. I, I think especially um, over the next few months and stuff, I'm gonna be moving stuff and reorganizing it. So uh, I'll add things to it or I'll just make it easier to grab things when I need it. Um, but for now, I am kind of setting up with a layout which I think looks best. It might not be practical, um, but I am liking how it's looking so far. I've got a few extra bits as well still to put up. Um, and what's great about this pegboard is I can just go and buy some more bits and pieces when uh, I get the chance to go to Ikea. Uh, going to Ikea is a little bit difficult for me at the moment, uh, especially since the Ikea in Coventry has just closed. Um, but I'm sure we're gonna have to do another trip to Ikea very soon anyway, so it won't be too difficult to get hold of bits and pieces. And uh, you can also get um, similar pegboards in Poundland and Wilco's and Hobbycraft, I think. So I'll be able to find bits and pieces that will probably fit this um, anyway. Um, but this is what it's looking like right now. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I wanna go through Pinterest and kind of get some more inspiration of what I can put up on it. Um, but this is this desk here, uh, you can't really see it, but this is my painting desk. So I kind of want all my art supplies really easy to just kind of reach out and grab, um, which is why I'm putting them on the pegboard here. Um, and I definitely think it will make it so much easier to just grab stuff. I don't have to go searching for things. Um, Plus, I will probably be feeling more inspired when I can see all my art supplies out um, and I'll less be kind of like, oh, I'm gonna have to go and find my paints or whatever, you know, they're just right there um, and hopefully it will make me create more um, art. So I don't know if you can tell, but I've also re-dyed my hair as well. Um, so I've got the front bit a dark purple and then the back like a, my normal pinky color. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it came out. Originally, I wasn't sure about the dark purple, but I actually like how it looks now. So I'm hoping to try and keep this for a little while, um, but obviously it's a lot of effort to do something like this, so we'll see. Uh, I'm actually off to work now, which I'm really annoyed about as I want to get as much as I can done in the studio. Um, but I will finish it off tonight and or tomorrow, uh, so I'll see you guys later. So I've been thinking what with what else I can do with the pegboard. So as you can see, there is a little, a little bit of a gap there, which I do want to fill. So I'm going to get one of my prints and I'm going to put that over the top of it to hide it. Um, and then <laughs> the rest of the top of it, I might just kind of leave blank for the moment. I have got extra accessories and stuff that I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with yet, but... I could hold on to them until I find something, some use for them. Um, and I can always just fill the top up with some prints and some other people's artwork as well for the meantime. Um, and I, I'm probably gonna find other art supplies and stuff lying around that I can also add to this. I definitely wanna get some more pots and maybe one more tray. Um, but <laughs> as it's from Ikea, it's not a, like super easy to do. So that will have to wait until I'm able to get hold of some. Um, but for now, I'll probably just fill it up with prints. Oh, and uh, this little thing, I'm not sure if you can see it here, I'm gonna put on some kitchen roll, um, so I can just grab some kitchen roll if I need it while I'm painting or something. As you can see, I've also added in my sketchbook there, just because it fits there and it's kind of easy to get. And yeah, I just wanna make this a place where it's as convenient as possible for me to get all the supplies I want to use. I will do a full tour of my pegboard when I do do my final uh, tour to explain why I put everything where I put it. Um, but as I mentioned, everything will probably change anyway. Um, but I'm so happy I've got this all set up because this was definitely one of the things I really, really wanted in my art room. Um, and now, now I've got it. 
So now I think I'm going to spend the rest of my afternoon putting together as many keyrings as I can. Uh, before we moved, I got a huge order of 100 keyrings. I got two different designs of them, um, and I actually have to put the keyrings on myself, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it means it was just a lot cheaper. I think it was so cheap. I got them from Sick and Mule, um, and I'm really happy with how they look. But I haven't had the chance yet to put them on my store, so I might as well sit down now and get as many as I can done. So this is what the finished uh, keyring will look like. So this is my little cat one. Um, and I've also got this charm of Celeste too. I'm not sure if you can tell, but there's actually a protective film over this. So I'm actually gonna leave the protective film on it um, just because I want it to be, you know, in really good condition when it arrives to my customers. So uh, I think whenever someone orders one of these, I am gonna have to like write a little hand note, written note telling people to take them off because they do kind of look a bit, they look really scratched and old with this protective film on, but they look amazing and really sharp and really pretty without the film. Um, so I don't want anyone thinking, you know, they've got on a, a really um, scratched up damaged charm when actually it's really nice. Um, so that's kind of annoying, but I don't really want to take it off um, and ruin the quality of it um, if, you know, and travel or whatever. There's obviously, there's a reason why it's on here, but yeah, so I'm gonna attach all of these to them. So I've put together a bunch of keyrings, um, but I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some photos and edit them so I can upload it to my shop, um, and then I can like put them together over the next few days or so um, as they start to sell. But yeah, I think they're really cute, um, and I really hope they do well. I think Celeste will probably do better than the cat, just because obviously Animal Crossing is very popular at the moment. Um, but I guess we'll see. So now I've taken my photos of the keyrings, so I'm just gonna sit down and edit them. I've just uploaded the keyrings to the website, um, so I'm gonna stop make doing stuff for today, um, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Today I am pl planning on painting on this denim jacket. So I wanted to create a collection of denim jackets that followed a theme. So I've decided to go with the theme of strawberries because my strawberry denim jacket that I previously painted um, and sold was really, really popular and I had a lot of people asking me to do more strawberry themed jackets. So I'm gonna create a whole collection of maybe six or seven individual jacket pieces in the collection. Um, and I'm thinking of possibly even doing some t-shirts and bags to match as well. Um, so each jacket will obviously be hand painted, so they will all be individually different and I'm gonna try and make the design different on every single one. Um, I already have quite a few jackets that I can use. I wanna stick with mainly painting on yellow and uh, pink denim jackets, just because I think that will fit the theme really well. So my previous denim jacket I painted on was stripy, it was pink and white stripes, um, and I have actually managed to find so many other pink and white stripy jackets, um, or like a dark pinky red kind of colour. So I think these are going to go really well in the collection, um, following on from my previous denim jacket. Um, and I also like the idea of having strawberries and bees together um, because my bee jackets have also been very popular um, and I found this really, really li lovely um, denim jacket. Uh, it's a really nice like lemon yellow colour and I think this will look great with uh, strawberries and a little bee in. So I've actually come up with a very rough plan of what I want to paint on this. Um, so uh, I'm just going to sketch out my sketch out my design onto this. And then yeah, I'll start painting on it. So this jacket is, it's a size small, but I don't know. It's a very oversized fit, so I'd probably say it could actually be up to a large, maybe. It's 
it is quite it's, it is quite big i'm not really sure what size it is um so i need to give it a measure before i put it on for sale but um yeah this, this is a really nice oversized jacket So this is my very rough and crumpled plan on what I want to do with this jacket. So I was thinking of having like a little strawberry or bees painted on the collar. I'm not sure if they'll both be strawberries or both be bees or one will be one each. I'm not entirely sure of that yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a mid in the middle. I'm going to have a circle and then I'm going to have like a bee there uh, with strawberries kind of surrounding it and hearts as well. So to kind of compare, uh, this is a previous jacket I've done. Um, that I did for myself, um, and this is kind of what I'm going to go for. I'm going to have the bee in the middle with a circle, and then uh, lots of different strawberries and leaves and flowers uh, around the outside. I've just had this delivered to my door. So this is a little Marshall plush. I'm pretty sure it's a fake one from China or wherever. Um, but he is super cute and he definitely looks like him in the game. Uh, I got him from AliExpress. I think he cost me three pounds. But I just thought it was really cute and I thought I'd share him to you guys because, yeah, <laughs> I think he's sweet, he's super sweet. Okay, so here is the finished um, sketch. Um, so now all that's left is to color in. for another day of painting on my denim jacket um, and I'm hoping today will be the day that I get this one finished. So yesterday I kind of ran out of time to paint all of it um, but today I've just got to finish off the butterfly and the strawberry so I guess it's the main part as I have just painted the background but the background was actually quite tricky to get all the details um, in and to, like in the little gaps and stuff and to make sure it looks really good. So today I am going to be concentrating on everything else. Also, the new season of Umbrella Academy has just been released, so I'm probably gonna watch that today. day three of painting this denim jacket um so this studio vlog was meant to be uploaded today um well this morning anyway um so i'm kind of annoyed that the jacket is not finished as i'd hoped it would be in this video um which is why this vlog has probably been delayed a little bit um i'm hoping to get it out today anyway um but let's get it finished so um i can upload the vlog too
I finished it. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks now. Um, it took me a lot longer than I thought it would. But yeah, I'm excited to do the other ones in the collection and hopefully I'll be able to have them up within, I don't know, the next month or so. Um, I'm really excited to put them up and I kind of want to put it up now, but I am going to do a whole big release of all of them at one go just to make it that bit more special. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment below letting me know um, what other collections of denim jackets you'd like to see in the future. Obviously now I am working on the strawberry collection. However, in future I can do so many more other um, designs. So if there's anything you'd like to see on a jacket, please let me know. Also, if you are interested in getting a custom commission jacket it done I can actually do that if you are interested in that my email is down below if you want to um, talk about that as well please do remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be first be notified for when I next upload and don't forget to also check out my social media accounts which are down below too I haven't been posting to TikTok that much recently however I did recently post a new video on there and I'm hoping to do more every week as well so please go and give me a follow there and on everywhere else, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything is down below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.